In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to install, set up, and configure the Paid Memberships Pro plugin, which is the first step to creating your membership site. This is part of the membership playlist. Details to that are down below, so watch this tutorial, then check out the rest of the playlist so you can set up your membership site completely in full. And we're getting started on the setup config tutorial right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's set up Paid Memberships Pro. I'll see in the screen capture. On the left-hand side menu at the very bottom, we have a new item called Memberships, which is where all the settings are for this plugin. If we go over first to our page settings, Membership levels we'll get to in a minute, but first the page settings. I know you're probably excited to get membership levels going, but let's get the foundations done first. Specific pages the plugin needs to run properly. Account page, billing info page, cancel checkout, confirmation, invoice, and levels page. Now we can either create these pages and add this short code into them, and then come back here and choose the page from the dropdown, or we click this fancy link here and let the plugin make the pages for us which I like to do. So I'm just gonna click on that. And now we have all these pages created and automatically added where they need to go. Then you click on any one of these to view them. There isn't much going on right now, just because there isn't. We just created the pages just now. We we'll click on save settings to save all those in there. Next, let's check the email tab. The payment gateway in SSL we'll get to in a minute, just like membership levels. We're not quite at that point yet. We're accepting payments. So first, let's get the foundation done. Let's go to email. And this is where we set the emails that are sent out. So what's important to note is the email address and name you put in here is now globally for your WordPress site. So if you, if you have contact forms that send things out or mail post or something, it's gonna show us coming from these two. If you don't want that to happen, if you want these to be custom just for your membership site and for nothing else, you have to check this box. So if this box is checked, these settings appear only for the membership plugins emails. If you uncheck this box, these settings appear for all emails sent from your site. So decide whether you want that box checked or not. Then we decide which emails you as the admin want to get. Do you want email when someone checks out? Do you want email when there's admin changes to users membership? Email of a cancellation, email of a billing update, email of new users. It's recommended to leave this one unchecked, but you can check it if you want. Either way, these four are the ones you really need because at first when you're doing a membership site, you're going to want to get all the information you can. And then as you run it over time, you're going to see which information is more important than other information. And then maybe you turn off certain notifications that you don't need. At first, I would check all of these and then click on Save Settings. Next, we head over to the Advanced tab. The Advanced Settings is where we show messages to members who are not members or who don't have the right membership level. For example, just to cover levels, you can have a public option. So maybe all your blog posts are public, not all of them, but many of them are public facing. So you get traffic from search engines and social media and stuff. And then you have specific blog posts that are designated for memberships. So this code here is going to replace the blog content if it is for a membership and the person viewing it does not have the correct membership or correct membership level. So if it's free content on the site, it's just free and available. But if you protect it, it will be replaced by this content is, replaced, is for platinum level members only, for example. Register here. And then for logged out users, it's gonna have the same message, only it's gonna add a login link. Because maybe they're members, they just have to log in to view it. The RSS feed. The RSS feed contains all posts that you publish to your site. So if you have posts that are membership specific, those will show up in your RSS feed. If you don't want that to happen, put this in here. It's in there by default. That will replace the RSS feed and the membership content will not show up in the RSS. So here we can filter the searches. So for example, if someone searches the site, but they're not a member, this is what tells whether it tells the site whether to show any membership content, the pages of membership content. So you might have pages that are protected but they still show up in searches. When a user clicks on them, it'll say, you don't have access to this. Or you have those not appear in the searches at all. So it's up to you which one you choose. There's good use cases for both. Show excerpts to non-members or hide them. I always choose yes, and I create a compelling excerpt about the content. 
If you don't have this, the content is replaced by this. That's all they see on the page. They'll see the title and they'll see this message with no content. Whereas if you have the excerpt with a strong call to action and written persuasively, it might get them to sign up as a member or at least a free member if you have a free membership level. So I always have that on, yes. Hide ads from members, it's up to you. It's, it's good for certain use cases, but you could have, for example, you could have an ad supported website and your membership level could be all they do is pay three bucks a month or whatever you want. And the only benefit they have is there's no ads on the site. So you'd want to hide ads from all members in that case. And to hide them, you'd wrap this around the AdSense code and the easy AdSense plugin and maybe some others that are replaced by this dot, dot, dot will hide automatically for members who are signed in. Or you can have that to know so everybody sees ads. You can use reCAPTCHA for membership creation. reCAPTCHA is a Google plugin. I've got a tutorial for that on my channel, so check that out. But reCAPTCHA basically has people enter what is written on an image in order to log in to prove they're not a robot. And required terms of service on signups, I usually choose yes, but we don't have a terms of service page yet. And that's not a page that's auto-created. So I'm just gonna copy this text. I'm just gonna quickly create that page. These are the terms. Publish that page. Obviously you wanna have real terms of service here, not just these are the terms. But for my purposes in this demo, that'll be enough. Now we go back down here, we find that page under T, terms of service. So when they, before they sign up, they're gonna to have to agree to the terms that are listed on this page. And I'll show you what that looks like later on in this tutorial. So now we've got all the base settings. Happy side note, the add-ons we mentioned a couple times already, you can actually see them all in this list as well. And you can either install now for ones that are free, update license for the pro level ones. So those are all the settings you have to know for this plugin. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. Like I said, this video is part of a playlist. So if you want to set this plugin up in full, keep watching through this playlist. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe. Then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, check out one of these videos on the right hand side to so get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.